Good afternoon and welcome to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, and welcome to the 2022 Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, the first semifinal of the college football playoff. Today, the number four ranked Ohio State Buckeyes take on the number one ranked Georgia Bulldogs. We were here not too long ago for the SEC Championship, which Georgia also competed in. The Bulldogs were able to take the win in real life, but in our simulation, LSU pulled off the upset. Kickoff is just moments away here, so let's get ready for the action to begin. So here we go, the team's making their way out from the sidelines. It is time for kickoff here at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Wind, zero miles per hour when you consider the fact that we're in a dome and there's the kick and we're underway Ohio State in white Georgia in red the Buckeyes will get the ball to start things off return carried out to the 25 and the college football playoff is officially underway we've got two games today and then January 8th the national championship game it's been a long season it's been quite the journey, but finally, we are close to determining the champ. Ijiera, the quarterback, gets the first down all by himself. Just decides to go for it. 11-yard run there to give Ohio State their second consecutive first down on the first play of the game. Hands off to Armstead now. He gets five yards, and it's second and five coming up now for the Buckeyes. Higiera stepping back to pass. Oliver with the catch and he is over the line just barely. First down coming up at Ohio's own 47 as the time, as the clock continues to run here in the first quarter. Armstead gets the hand up but gets taken down very quickly. No gain, no loss on that play. Second and 10 for Ohio State now. The crowd is wild. All the excitement of attending a, a game such as this. Ijeyera to Hooker. He drops it and now the clock will stop for the first time since kickoff. 1.15 to play in the first quarter. Third and 10 coming up here for Ohio State on the 47. Last chance to convert before they'll probably be forced to punt. Ijeyera fires it away. It's a bit of a short pass. Davis gets it, and he gets past the line. Somehow, someway, the Ohio State Buckeyes still find a way to convert. And it's first and 10 on Georgia's 42. Ijiera stepping back to pass. I imagine there are a lot of Georgia fans coming out here to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. In fact, that's probably the majority. As I said, we were here not too long ago for the SEC Championship game. I believe Georgia won in real life, but in our universe, LSU declared the champions. Nonetheless, we will still simulate the real-life games. Except, of course, or unless, of course, our simulations are not accurate here, then the college football national championship will be different than the real one. But other than that, Giera to Armstead, and he's taken down quickly, a gain of two to the 24, third and eight. And that's the end of the first quarter. 0-0 zero, zero between Ohio State and Georgia, although I suspect... That will change very, very soon. Third and eight for Ohio State, starting out the second quarter on the 24. Ijiera really don't know what he was thinking there, but uh, it's fourth and eight for Ohio State. They're close to the end zone. They will try and kick a field goal and get the first points of the game. There's the snap and the kick is good a little bit low but it is still good and with that field goal with that field goal 
Ohio State takes the lead 3-0 here in the Peach Bowl, the first semifinal of the college football playoff. Again, we've got Michigan and TCU coming up later tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, but right now we're concentrating all of our attention on this game right here. Georgia to get the ball for the first time in this game, and that should make the fans happy. Oh, nice jump there. Return carried out to the 20. And when you think of it, when you think about it, even though this is supposed to be a neutral venue, Georgia's still being placed in it. You know, they're really the home team in more ways than one, since this is Atlanta. And they've got the fans cheering them on. Ohio State with a 3-0 lead right now, but the SEC members looking to get back into it with a touchdown. Shaw stepping back to pass. Of course, Georgia earlier this year mourning the, mourning the loss of legendary coach Vince Dooley. And the uh, when that happened, we actually happened to be in Georgia at the time. I think he, I think it was announced that he had died the day before, and then the game happened the day after, that Saturday, which we covered. Two-minute warning kicks in as the Bulldogs get another first down. So my point, the point I'm trying to make here, Georgia looking to take home the national championship in Dooley's honor and his memory, and the Bulldogs using the first time out of the half. They have two remaining, Ohio State with all three intact at the moment. 1.48 to play before halftime. I think they can make it up the field and into the end zone, but we'll find out. Smart keeps going. He fumbles it, and now let's see what's happened. Ohio State coming away with the ball. The Buckeyes take possession at the 50. And Igiera leading the offensive line out onto the field once again. First play of the possession goes for one yard, second and nine coming up after this timeout. Ligiera stepping back to pass. He's gonna run and he's gonna keep on going. He's taken down at the 32. Quite the run there. And the final timeout of the half being called by the Georgia Bulldogs. Again, Ohio State with all three intact. They really don't have any need to call one, but whatever. First and 10 on the 32. 120 to play before halftime. They're in field goal range if need be. They couldn't go all the way in the last possession. Ishiera goes down with a sack. And that'll push Ohio State back three yards, second and 13 coming up. They couldn't get all the way to the end zone on the last possession. They did score a field goal, as you can see, it's 3-0. And now I think they're just running out the clock, wasting some time. Ishiera hands off to Armstead. He gets three yards, but it was second and 13. So that'll push him up to 32 to make it third and 10. One more chance here before they'll have to go for another field goal. Still a chance to extend their lead, but they want that, you want that security. Because six nothing, Georgia can still take the lead with an extra point. 10 nothing. You might have it in the bag. Ijiera tries to go all the way, unsuccessful. And there is halftime. Ohio State three, Georgia zero in a packed Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And I believe the Bulldogs will get the ball to start off the third quarter. Hoping to have a better third quarter then they're hoping to have a better possession here than they did previously.
There's the kick, and away we go. Past the 20, taken down on the 22. And now, the offense coming out onto the field once again. Shaw steps back to pass, fires it away, and it's incomplete, and that is not a very good start here for Georgia. National championship is what this is all about. This is the semifinal. We've got the other semifinal coming up later. Winner of this and winner of that going to SoFi Stadium. Real game will be on Monday, January 10th. We're doing ours Saturday, January 8th. Shaw goes down with a sack. Ohio State still with a 3-0 lead over Georgia, and now it's 3rd and 11. Shaw stepping back to pass. Fires it away just before the defender can get to him, and Smart with an amazing catch. And for a second I thought he might have gone all the way, but that's not too bad either. 43 receiving yards, 2 rushing yards for Smart. And an unbelievable catch there to bring Georgia up to Ohio's 36 and now the 33 as Shaw spins through for three yards. Bulldogs could get the win anyways. Bulldogs could still get the win here. Don't count them out yet. Smart goes down. And this has potential to be one of the great college football games in Beagle Sports Network history. Shaw fires it away. And now it's fourth and five. But they're close to the end zone. They can go for a field goal. Going to be a bit of a gamble. But it's a gamble they're willing to take. And if successful, we'd be all tied up three to three here in the Peach Bowl. Uh, it's low, but it's good! An amazing field goal for Georgia to tie the score 3-3. Three to three. Now, how long do we have? One minute and three in the third, meaning four minutes and three seconds total. We've still got the fourth quarter coming up. Somehow, Georgia's still able to pull off that field goal. And it's a very low-scoring game. But competitive nonetheless. Tied up 3-3 three three as the Buckeyes get the ball. Oh, my. Just speared him. If I may use a bit of professional wrestling terminology. And the return carried out to the 18. 58 seconds to go in the third quarter. Ohio State starting deep in their own end. What can they do with it? Ishiyara goes right away. Runs right into a defender. A yard is a yard, but it doesn't do much good. Second and nine coming up now for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Pass is caught by Armstead. It'll give him the first down at the 30. But again, that is their own 30. And now this could be the last play of the quarter. Ijiara goes down. Another sack here in this Peach Bowl. And the clock keeps going. At the end of the third quarter, it's 3-3 three three between Ohio State and Georgia. In a barn burner of a game. Second and 12 for Ohio State to begin the fourth quarter. Three minutes back on the clock. What can you do with three minutes? We're about to find out. The snap to Igiera. Slides down to get a gain of five. Igiera trying to break through the wall. Thomas makes the catch, and it's first down for Ohio State at the 42. Rayshawn Thomas, seven receiving yards there. Ijiara being pursued. He's going to run, and he's going to keep going. Shot to the back, takes him down. 
but Ohio State gets past the 50. And to the 44, two-minute warning kicks in. Thomas with the handoff, trying to break through the wall. He only gets two yards. Both teams with all three timeouts intact. They've got to use them. An intense fourth quarter here in the Peach Bowl. Giera to Armstead. And Armstead will keep going. Fumble! And Crosley picks it up. Ohio State keep the ball. And now first and ten at the 25. It could all be over for Georgia. False start. Flag on the play. Loss of five. For the Buckeyes there. One minute, four seconds to go. Toss from Egier to Armstead. Taken down after three yards. Less than a minute to play. Nobody's used any timeouts. Georgia could get through this on time alone. It's three to three. Ijiera, the toss to Armstead again. There's a flag on the play. What is it? Holding on Ohio State, which would be second down and 22. And for the Buckeyes, it can only get worse from here. Ijiera steps back to pass, gets sacked. And now it's third and 24. Clock is ticking. Most likely the last play of the game. Seven seconds. Five, four, three. Snap. One last chance before overtime. Ijiera running. Gets taken down. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to overtime. Ohio State three. Georgia three. And now the coin toss. Two captains shake hands, and here we go. Ohio State will defend. Georgia will get the ball. Overtime in the Peach Bowl. Here we go. Shaw. From the 35. Second and 10. First pass incomplete. Overtime in the college football playoff. I can't think of anything more exciting. Smart. Well, maybe overtime in the Super Bowl. And that is where all of these men want to end up eventually. It all starts here in college. And they will probably be selected very quickly in next year's draft. Shaw on third and nine from the 34. Mouton with the catch. And that's a first down. Bulldogs looking to close the deal here. First and ten. Shaw hands off to Ramsey. A bit of a scuffle. He goes down. At the 24, that's a loss of one yard. Shaw hands off to Smart. Smart goes down at the 23, third and 10 now. Coming up for the Georgia Bulldogs. One more chance to convert. Shaw stepping back to pass, fires it away, and Smart into the end zone. Bulldogs with a touchdown, nine to three. He nails as they come back. What a game, ladies and gentlemen, what a game. And they're gonna go for two, the comeback completed here by the Bulldogs. Shaw runs into the end zone. 11 to 3, Georgia. What a game. What a game indeed.
Now the chance for Ohio State. It may not be over here. That two-point conversion will be essential. All the Buckeyes can do now is tie. And the first pass from Ijiera incomplete. There will be much rejoicing in the streets of Atlanta if the Bulldogs were to pull this off. And they're just three downs away from doing so. Ijiera running. Taken down from the back. It was a first down anyways. Ijiera with 35 passing yards and 104 rushing yards today. No touchdowns at all, but that could change very soon. And if it does, then this entire game will come down to a two-point conversion. Ijiera sacked at the 31. That'll push Ohio State back seven yards. Second and 17. Hand off from Ijiera to Armstead goes down after one. Third and 16 now. Two more chances. The Buckeyes hoping and praying as well as their fans that they can pull through this. Eight points to win, or eight points to tie. Fourth and 13. And they've gotta go for it now. The entire game comes down to this one play. Fourth and 13. From the 27. Ijiera taken down. And the Georgia Bulldogs have won the Peach Bowl. 11 to 3. An amazing comeback. Here in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Ohio State 3. Georgia 11 in overtime it is decided the Bulldogs are through to the national championship 11 first downs for Ohio State only three for Georgia still able to get the job done 148 net yards for the Buckeyes 106 for the Bulldogs Ohio State with the majority of the possession. They can only get three points from eight minutes and 56 seconds with the ball. Georgia able to get 11 points out of just three minutes and four seconds. Ohio State dominated in all facets today except for scoring. And that is why the Georgia Bulldogs have taken the win 11 to three. Coming up later, we've got the second semifinal. It's gonna be Michigan taking on TCU, the Wolverines and the Horned Frogs. We hope to see you there. That's at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. But for now, thank you for watching. Have a good afternoon from, from Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. And congratulations to the Georgia Bulldogs.